to click onto our page. Is Johnny, are you ready to launch into the locker? Yes, I am. Who's in it, Cocker? Please reveal all. Chris, we're talking hockey in the locker tonight, and we do so because the England men's team have just returned home from the Netherlands, having won the Euro Hockey Nations title, making them European champions. Uh, the first time they've achieved that, they beat Germany 5-3 in the final. One of the heroes of the England team was Ashley Jackson, who scored eight goals in the tournament, and he joins us now. Good evening, Ashley. Hi, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? Very well. Now, congratulations on the tournament win. You're European champions. What has the week been like since you got back from that? Has it been good? Um, yeah, it's been very good. Obviously, the uh, after the after party and the, the night after was, was very good. Um, since being back, it's been very busy, but it's a bit nice to be back. And put this tournament win into some sort of context for us, because this is one of England's best ever wins in hockey, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I think um, the last big achievement was 87 in the European Cup, and they, they came home with a silver medal. Um, in terms of England, yeah, that, that's been it, to be honest. So this is a, a big achievement in the last 20-odd years. And, and did you actually do better than you were expecting at the tournament? Because I read some quotes from your coach saying, well, we didn't actually expect to even get to the final. <laughs> Um, we knew that if we played well in in all the games that we, we would have a strong chance but realistically we were going in looking for a semi-final place and then and then kind of seeing what was going to happen from there and just uh, trying to play, play to our best I guess. And eight goals from you during the tournament, I mean fantastic achievement from yourself. Yeah. Were you expecting to, I mean you obviously want to score as many goals as you yeah. can but to score eight must have been such a good feeling at the end of it all. Um, yeah, it, it was. Um, not not really thinking about that too much, to be honest. But um, I knew before the tournament started that if I was to score to score goals and score as many as I did, that we would be very close to to maybe medals. So um, it's nice to have achieved both of them, I guess. You score a lot of your goals from short corners, don't you? You're the man yeah. who who flicks the ball into the back of the net. A, a more dangerous. A, a area of sport I don't know short corners are yeah. so difficult you strike the ball don't you when it comes to you at 100 miles an hour you were saying earlier on um, yeah I, I try and flick the ball as high as I can into the goal in the air or along the floor and um, I've been clocked at around about 100 miles an hour but as I said before I'm one of the one of the slower ones in it uh, the big guys go up to 100, 119 120 so they well away. So exactly, I was going. I mean, you, you are one of the attackers, so you get to hit hit the ball or strike the ball. There are some yeah. guys who actually have to defend against a ball flying at them at 100 and 120 miles an hour with very little protection. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they uh, put their bodies on the line to try and try and save a goal for their country. I guess. So. What do they? What, what sort of protection do they have apart from a, a pair of shin pads? Um, um, there's a let's say one guy who stands in the goal, almost next to the goalkeeper. He'll have a. Uh, a plastic face mask and a, and a box on, um, and maybe a guy who who is the lucky guy who gets to run straight down where the flick's coming from. He he gets to wear maybe a cricket glove and a box as well. So they're not too overly protected, and he'd probably rather be the goalkeeper in this situation. Yeah, who's obviously heavily padded. Yeah. Um, have you seen? You must have seen some pretty grim injuries during your time, and with people defending things like that. Um, touch wood. I've not seen too many bad ones. I've heard of a few, um, but. Uh, well, hopefully I don't get to experience too many myself. And you've been described as the David Beckham of hockey. Do you enjoy that comparison? Um, I've heard this a few times. I'm not too sure why. Um, it's quite difficult to compare, I think. But, um, I mean, he's one of my idols, so I'm happy to be compared to someone like him. All right. Well, look, Ashley, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, that is England, who are the European champions, and Ashley Jackson, who scored eight goals during the tournament for England. Sounded like some party as well. Yes. It's got to have to say, good party. You know, yeah. Recovering from the party. Tony Thomas, thanks for being at our party once again. We'll talk to you tomorrow during this programme.